Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome to Tileland. Oh, has everything gone black and white? Or am I, like, having a brain thing? Am I okay? No, I, def I definitely see color. Right, we're good. We're good. Carry on. So, this is Tileland. A game where you have a load of tiles on the right that you need to place down on the map to create a land. Now, as you place tiles down, you get points depending on what they're next to. Up the top, we need to get to 35 points to get to the next level. That will get us a load of new tiles. And, of course, we'll increase our score. On the left, this sort of gives you, like, a description of how many points you're going to get. So, this this is for the windmill that we've got. So if it's next to a field or farmhouse, we get extra points. And if we connect two power lines, we upgrade it to a wind turbine. Pretty cool. Uh, but for now, it's the first tile we're putting down. So pretty much wherever it goes, we'll get a plus three. Now we can only put these down next to tiles we already have. You can see there's three monument tiles. Uh, so let's shove that there. So we've got our three points. Uh, we've then got, oh no, we've got a barbarian camp. So we get extra points if we're next to mountains. And if you look down the bottom, look, there is there is a mountain, so not too far away. Now, this one upgrades if it's surrounded by ocean, oil rigs, lighthouses, all that kind of stuff. Doesn't look like I'll have the tiles to do that now. So I'm going to put that down by this monument. Now, and basically, the monuments, they, they allow you to sort of destroy what's connected. And you get, like, the, the number of points that were there. Now, you're going to want to use these monuments to recycle cards because it's a good way to, like, double your points, essentially. So as we surround these and, like, we sort of get full up we'll probably destroy them all and then we'll get all the points doubled again uh, but we we will then gain that space so for this one we've got a village so they like being near forests meadows other villages town cities lots of stuff so i reckon let's shove that there the ocean wanted to surround that didn't it so i think i'll shove a bit of ocean there we've got another village so we can shove that next to our current village we've then got a farmhouse now, as it says there, yields plus three points for every adjacent pasture or windmill. So this wants to go up the top. Where look, it'll get six points. Uh, whereas if we were to like put it down by these, we only get three points. So definitely shove it up there. We've, we're up to 19 points. There's 16 to the next level. You'll notice though, we've only got we've only got four tiles remaining. So we'll grab this mountain, shove it down here, grab this village, and if we shove that down next to that. We've now got three in a row. I need 10 points, but I've only got two tiles remaining. But this is where we're going to we're gonna really make something of us. Because remember, this barbarian camp likes to be next to the mountains. So that will get me plus seven points down here. So boosh, we'll shove that there. Then I need three points. Now I can do that by, by placing my village tile. And I'm pretty sure these three, they should turn into a town. Now, I reckon what it's probably worth doing, if I do this town thing first, so shove that there, that combined all of those into, ooh, look, a town. Base score of 10. Now, we've then leveled up, which means we've got 10 tiles. Uh, ooh, and they're all sort of like grassy ones. Very unexpected. Now, you can also see at the top, we've got 46 points, which means we're only 12 away from the next level. Now, and we've still got all these tiles to play. So what I'm going to do, activate this monument by right-clicking. That wipes away all of that. We get 17 points. Which means we've got even more tiles down here. 19 tiles left. We only need 18 points to get to the next level. And basically these meadows, they get an extra point for every adjacent forest, ocean or meadow. So I think I'll start surrounding down here. It's, it's worth noticing as well. Can you see that little guy there? Hello. That's a barbarian from the barbarian camp. You can see he pillages tiles via destruction or they downgrade the tiles. Uh, they do disappear after 15 turns. That's turns ES uh, or three pillages. Uh, hence why I've sort of kept the barbarians down here away from like my other things. Uh, worth noting as well, can you see there's like a little person on, on my town? That is a worker. And when activated, that worker will upgrade a, a tile. So what I think I'll do, I may I may shove the, the forest up over that way. But for now, let's get these meadows in up here. So that's plus three points. We'll shove this one there, plus four points. All right, we've then got the forest. So I think I'll shove that there. Now, this is getting a little bit risky. I want to fully surround this ocean tile because look what it says here. Upgrades with surrounding meadow, forest, and monument tiles to produce a lake. And because I've got so many, I can easily do that. Well, actually, I've got another, I've got another one down here. I could go down instead then just to save myself getting pillaged over this way. All right, so yeah, I can see ocean tiles are coming up, so I can definitely shove an ocean in the middle. That will turn into a lake. Uh, something I want to do first, though, I've got a forest here. And look, yields times two points for every connected forest. 
Now, you don't just have to place tiles like just adjacent to what you have. You can actually replace tiles you have. So if I were to place this on a blank, I usually get like three points, maybe six points. But if I were to replace this meadow, I get plus 10. However, if I place it there where it's adjacent to two forests, that's plus 16 oh points. God. Boosh. All right, so then I got another meadow. That will go in the bottom left. And then the ocean tile, if I put that in the middle, check this out. Plus 13 points wow. because it's now a lake. And a lake yields plus one point for every adjacent forest. So basically, if I start replacing these fields with forest, uh, this will get me even more points. Love it. Now, you'll notice now that barbarian's gone as well. So I'm safe to sort of merge these together. So let's grab this. So I think the village, if I just shove that there for now, the workers should come across. Oh, poo. No, oh, I just pressed the wrong button. I replaced the town with, I replaced the town with the ocean. Well, shit. Can I put my ocean where this lake is? Will it upgrade it again? 30 oh, yes, it does. Oh, sweet. I don't know if that's meant to happen, but basically every time I shove ocean there, it upgrades to a lake. I get some fat points. Oh, thank you. All right, so now we're just 40 away from the next level and I've got 24 tiles. Now, what I might do, things that I don't really care about, I might shove them up here and then I'll trigger this one to get rid of. So I'll put that there. Oh man, I don't think it's worth it. I was thinking I can upgrade one of these villages to a, a fishing village if I surround it by ocean. Because uh, then they've got a chance to... Can you see there's a fish spawned on there? I can catch that with the fishing village. I feel like though I may as well just shove my ocean like in the middle here. I mean, what I do want to do, I want to shove another town next to this town. And I've got three village tiles. So I think if I shove village there, another one there, and then I replace this ocean with village like that... And that should merge down. Oh, it didn't merge. Why didn't it merge? I don't know why it didn't merge. Anyway, for now, we got meadow tiles. So, I mean, I could try and surround this lake. So if I do that, I got another mountain. Mountains are a bit sort of meh. They don't really do a lot at the moment. So we'll get rid of that. We'll shove another meadow there. And then, oh, look, we've got a field. So these like being next to other fields and windmills. So at the top, we have a windmill. So I can shove that there for plus four points. This final meadow tile, I can replace that mountain. And then, boosh, we get another lake, which means we've leveled up again, which also means that I've got two places to put these ocean tiles, which get me 13 big ones. <laughs> oh, that's so good. But yeah, I think what I might do now, if I right click this monument, it will wipe all of this. I think that'll get me some fat points. Yeah, just 36 to the next level now. And then I can start replacing... And if I replace with trees, look, that's plus 30 going there. Boosh. So then I'll just fill in forests as well. We've leveled up again. We've got 31 tiles. We are smashing it now. Uh, this village, I think if I shove that there, these will all merge into a town. Yeah, there you go. But the town is now far away from this town. So merging them to get a city is going to be quite tricky. Anyway, we then have ocean. So I'll shove that in the middle. Oh, no, look. Then we got mountains, which is fine, but followed by three barbarian camps. And we've got to be very careful because I don't want those barbarians to come and like downgrade my cities and my forests and stuff. So I think, unfortunately, we're going to right click this top one. Get rid of that. That's 16 points. Not too bad. Barbarian camps can then go up here. So I get plus eight if I shove that there. And then plus nine if I shove that there. And then I can right click those to get rid of them. And thankfully no barbarian spawned, which is really good. But oh, what does this guy want? Oh, he upgraded it. We've now got a quarry. So we can upgrade this by surrounding with ocean, a load of other stuff that I haven't even seen yet. And that will start getting me coal. Interesting. Okay, so I might want to surround this with ocean if I can. Uh, meanwhile, we've got some village tiles. So let's shove one there. And then, oh, look, I can right click this again. Is that going to upgrade the field? Let's see. Oh, I upgraded it to a park. Passively yields two points for each adjacent village, town or city. Oh, isn't that nice? So is that because this, this little villager was wandering about? I wonder if I put like that in there. Will that allow this person to? Yes, it does. <gasps> 24 points. 
if I replace that with a forest. I think I'd rather right click though, turn that into a park. That gets me, that gets me points every round, I think. And then I can put a field down here. Oh look, we can upgrade that one to a park. Love it. So we're now getting passive points for all these parks. Uh, this forest wants to go down there. That's 24 points. And then the, the ocean will turn into a lake. Sorry, fish. And then 582 points, 184 to the next level. We've got some ocean. So am I going to try and surround this now? The quarry? I think I am. I think that's the play here. So we'll shove that there. Oh, what's this? A different type of forest. It looks the same. Okay, well, I'll shove that in this corner for 30 points. Then we'll upgrade that to a park. I've got so many parks now. The passive points are really helping. All right, so mountain, I don't think I'm going to want. Um, but what I might do, or oh, I might upgrade this. I can upgrade this forest. So what do I turn that into? Oh, like a little lumberjack thing. Oh, stocks wood from connected forest. Interesting. Right, so the next tile is a wasteland one. I've seen, was it in this mountain? Upgrades with surrounding wasteland tiles to produce a volcano. So I could attempt to do that like down here somewhere. The trouble is if I commit to this, I won't be able to like monument them out the way. I don't know what a volcano does. I, I am intrigued though, but look, there is the wasteland. I can then shove the mountain next to it and then I just got to surround this completely. Uh, in the meantime, let's keep upgrading parks. Just look at all the passive income we're getting. Now we've then got a farmhouse, which I don't think is too much use. So I'll just shove that up the top. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Before I do anything, this guy, do you want to upgrade that to a volcano? Oh no, what's he upgraded it to? Oh, I turned it into a quarry. Oh, what a knob. Oh, in the meantime, I'm just going to keep upgrading stuff. So we'll get another wood chopper. Don't know if that was sensible or not. Now I'm going to replace this farm with the barbarian thing. I think I might just wipe them. That will wipe this as well. But I just don't want barbarians everywhere. So plus 10 points. That's good. We need 317 to the next level. That is a lot of points to get from just 24 tiles. So we need to get a bit more tactical now. So we'll shove you there. Another one there. And then I think the fourth one is the one they all combine onto. All right. Then we've got another forest. Oh, it's worth noticing as well. These lumber mills, they actually chop down the forest. That's why there's no forest down here anymore. So... So I have a forest down there for plus 12. This other forest there for plus 18. This mountain, I'll put that back where this quarry is because that's where it was meant to be. I'm not going to upgrade it. I'm ignoring you. I might put forests on top of these lumberjacks. So that's plus 32 points. Replace this one. That's plus 50 points. Oh boy. And then another one, plus 48 points over there. That is awesome. Then with these, I'm going to surround the quarry. So the ocean goes up there. Anyway, this forest, I can get plus 28 if I shove it over there. So I'll do that. Uh, 22 tiles to get 480 points. It's getting a bit sketchy. I don't know what to do with these meadows anymore either. I mean, I guess try and turn them into parks. Just shove them like, shove it there for now. Now, I think we'll turn that into a wood chopper. That makes sense. Oh, barbarians up there. But that means getting rid of my ocean. Yeah, that quarry's not in a good place, really. Still, we'll do that. And then we're going to have to right click to get rid of the barbarian camp. We lost our ocean. Our fish lost his habitat. Oh, there's a village, though. So, shove village there. That will give us, yes, a new town. If I want to make a city, I've got to make one more ending there, I think. Village there. That village there. This mountain down here. Village there. And then the final village will go in this tile here. And that should make space because I think all of these will combine into a city. And then I can surround this with ocean quite easily. These meadows, I can probably use these to upgrade these forests. Put the others down the bottom. These should turn into parks, I think. Yeah, there you go. Right click. We now have a park. We'll shove the forest on these choppers. The ocean. We're trying to surround this, remember. So ocean goes up the top. Forest. I don't want to lose my forest. So I've replaced the wood chopper with it. And then what I can do with these is just get the most points. So I guess I guess 16 is good. We'll shove that there. Got more ocean to go up the top. Boosh. All right, we just leveled up. We got 19 tiles remaining now. Still more forests. So that can go down there for plus 18. Love it. This ocean, I guess I go with that one. I really need a village. I don't know what I'm doing with these with these tiles. I mean, I guess shove them down. Hopefully they turn into parks. Yeah, bottom left, I can turn that into a park. So that's some passive income. I need 700 points to the next level. I've only got 11 tiles remaining. What's this? A marshland. Base score 15. Doesn't seem to do anything else. I think I'll shove that in the top left for now. Uh, then we've got a load of we've got a load of farm tiles coming up. Has the chance to generate livestock. Oh, cool. So fields want to be next to adjacent fields and windmills. They they will perish and yield a wasteland after three harvests. 
That's how you get wastelands then. Still, I guess we'll go like down the bottom for now with these. So if I shove that in the bottom corner, then these pastures... Oh, I was going to say they'll get us loads of points, but they actually don't. I need to place these afterwards. So I can see there is a... There's another farmhouse coming up. So if I just swap these farmhouses and try and surround them... Man, we are running out of tiles. I might have to right click right click the monuments so right click that one will that get us loads of points oh not a lot of points not a lot turn that into a park no we're pretty much we're pretty much out so 12 points if i go there i'm 450 short that's quite short i can get nine points if i go there which i guess i'll do then this is my last tile a single pasture which isn't going to get me anything so i guess for now we've got to get rid of everything we've got so i've right clicked that one Oh, then that's game over. I forgot when you right click, that actually uses up a tile. So I, oh, I came third. I mean, it's out of five, but ignore that. Editor, add like loads of numbers down there. So it looks like other people have done it. Yes, no one will know our secret. But yeah, that was tile lands. And it's, it's really, like, there's loads of, loads of different like tiles you can get. Like look at all the things we didn't unlock. It looks like there's pylons and nuclear plants and all sorts. But yeah, a very fun little game. I recommend it. But for now, I'll say peace, love and tile lands. Bye guys.